Hello, everybody. It's SD Man Haven here today. And, well, I, I think it's about time. I've mentioned this tank multiple times. I've recommended it on my live streams. I've recommended it on Twitch. I just recommend you guys get your hands on the TL1 LPC. This is, in my opinion, probably one of the best silver makers in the game combined with it, it doesn't matter what tier you end up inside the LPC. It's got enough penetration to handle whatever you need it to handle. You have a choice between a single shot and a double shot. Uh, single shot, you got an 8 second reload. Double, you got a 14.6. So, you know, it's really just... You want to get that double shot with, with that interclip reload. That's absolutely amazing. It's just fantastic. You know, before we jump into everything on this tank, I think... One of the first things that we're going to do is let's actually check out the commander for you guys. So this is my medium tank crew specifically for the Americans. Uh, we got six cents, muffled shot, uh, green thumb, silent driving, rapid loading, brothers, well, brothers in arms, born leader. You know, it's it's that situational awareness, track mechanic and camouflage expertise. So we're a little bit more focused on the camouflage for our LPC. And it's a really good thing that we're doing that too, because being able to move around the field and have that little bit of an extra advantage without being detected, trying to relocate, or even if you're trying to, you know, make a drive around, like let's say Himmelsdorf and you want to cut through an open path to get to the other block, um, the chances of getting spotted is kind of 50-50 on Himmelsdorf, but it's still an extra advantage. Now with the equipment that we're running, we're going with um, advanced optics, the new traction system out of the game for plus 10% max speed. Improve ventilation and whatever this is, you know, just pretend like it doesn't exist. Do not remove it. Just leave it alone. It's supposed to be an in-game mechanic, but at this moment, it is a piece of equipment. Now, let's actually jump into the module viewer here. Overall horsepower, 665. Now, this new screen that they added, go to module viewer, tap Y to get your detailed stats. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the best setups that they've had. So starting off for the engine... Top speed, originally it's 50, reverse speed, it's 20. Uh, with the 10% added, it's going to give you increased reversed and increased top speed. And with the power to weight that we have, 18.1, I felt more comfortable putting on the top speed rather than the um, power terrain, which is 5% horsepower, 5% top speed. You can get away with running the power terrain if you wanted to, to help you get that extra horsepower up the hill to maintain the top speed, you know, while going uphill. And with 5%, you'd be going 2.5 kilometers faster and 1 kilometer faster in reverse if you did want to run that. But the extra 10%, there, there's just no point to use anything else. Now, the traverse speed of the tank, the overall traverse speed on the track, says I'm trying to find it. It's a turret rotation, we got 38. View range, it has a base view range of 400, which is another really good benefit to this tank. Um, dispersion values 0.4. It's not the greatest dispersion value at all. Aiming time 2.6 seconds. It's not the greatest, but the thing is, you got a double shot. You get in close. You have a blast. Elevation 19 degrees. Max gun depression 9 degrees. That 9 degrees of gun depression, it does really good. 8, 8 degrees to 14 degrees. 14 degrees being the best view range in the game, and you can get that in the T95E2 and the Japanese STB1, the tier 10. While the Swedish have 13 at ten, well, yeah, 13 degrees on most of their tanks. So, 9 degrees, you can work a ridge line really well inside the LPC. Uh, jumping down, ammo capacity, 64 shells. Uh, another really good benefit to this tank. It's got a lot of ammo. Rate of fire, almost 7 rounds. And do keep in mind, this is also being boosted by the crew, so a lot of the base stats are not there. Now, one of the greatest things about this tank is the interclip reload of 1.13 seconds you barely even have to wait to be able to get that second shell off now base penetration 208 premium heat pen keep in mind it is heat pen 280 45 millimeters of high explosive pen and the velocity on the rounds honestly this new stat page that they added it's just great we have armor damage which is just the damage of the rounds the base damage 280 280 370 now, compared to other 90 millimeters, every single other 90 millimeter in this game only has 240 per hit, while the LPC has an extra 40 damage stacked on top of its alpha, so it, it gets a higher alpha. 
And with the double shot, you know, you're going to be hitting people 560. You might even be able to high roll both shots and probably do 610. Or low roll and do about 450 to 480. But even then, it's still a really good amount of damage. Your standard shells travel at 914 meters per second. Your premium rounds, 1,219. Honestly, I don't know why the heat rounds travel so fast, but they do. And it just makes them so much better to be using. High explosives at the slowest, 732. Now, I do get the opportunity to use high explosives inside this tank quite a bit. You know, it's tier 8. You got Scorpions. You got Shaskas, um, SU-100s. Along with that, you got some lower tier tanks that don't have as much armor. The Borask that was added to the game, probably one of my favorite tanks to shoot at. And light tanks. I mean, if they're getting close, load the high explosives. You can make it work. Now, accuracy during turret rotation... 1.52. It's not the greatest. There's a couple out there with a 1.21. Uh, but there is worse out there. So I'd say that this is about middle ground. You can snapshot really well on the move inside this tank if need be, even though your dispersion values are 0.4. So let's take the LPC out and let's play some matches live. I don't have any recordings for this tank because I feel comfortable enough to pull this out and go nuts live. So 177, and that is the gun mantle, so if they try shooting the gun mantle, more than likely it'll be a ricochet and bounce. Up in the sides, 139, continuing on. The hatch is going to be 76 millimeters on top of the hatch. Let's actually take a look here. 50, so it can't be overmatched. If they shoot the hatch a little bit too high, they're just going to be bouncing off of it. Now the side armor, 50 millimeters. That's another really good benefit. You can side scrape. Top plate, we're looking at 88, lower plate 101. If you want to, you can pop around a corner at a slight angle. Try and force them to uh, bait a shot into the lower and the top plate. And then be able to come around and put a double shot into somebody. Now, the top armor of the tank, too, up in the front, we got 38. Which is going to prevent 105s from going through everything else. Top plate above that, we got 44. So 155s are going to be able to overmatch that. But 120s and 130s, they'll just auto ricochet back into the turret. And hopefully the turret can stand up against it. Now... Underneath the lower plate, you got 38 there, so be a little bit careful trying to come up over the ridge if you're overexposing your lower plate, and you need to. Other than that, the gun, 35 millimeters, you can use the gun to block 105s, and anything below 105, it should be an absorption, depending if it's a heat round or not. But, it, it gets the job done, and it gets it done well. So, let's get a match in this. And here we are. Desfuel. I'm pretty sure I completely bombed that name, but it is what it is. Newer map out of the game. I'm not exactly a big fan of all the, the bigger, newer maps that they're adding. They're just 1400 by 1400. If you're driving a slower tank, it, it just does not feel as good. And we're middle tier. So we got Type 4 Heavy Enemy Team, NE75, Amex 1390, just three tier 9s. The rest are 8. So this is looking like a really good lobby. Um, it is in counter battle. We do have the top speed to be able to come down to this right side here, if we really wanted to. More than likely, that's probably where we're going to be going. Get shots on middle. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to my opinion of the tank while the match is starting up. The LPC, overall, it's just a really good performing tank. I've taken the time out to get this thing three marked to go nuts and just take care of it as much as I can. And honestly, you know, the 14 hours that I have inside this tank, 14 hours specifically inside the LPC, it just feels really good. And the three mark on this, it was a high requirement. It took quite some time to get. And I was stuck around the 93% for the longest time. But, you know, taking a tank like this and actually getting the mark because you enjoy it, and trying your best inside of it to get everything you can done. It, it just feels amazing. So we got the 1390 coming up. He's going to put a shot into the tracks and deal with the uh, lower plate armor there. Let's go ahead and pop the premium consumable. We're going to try and track him down now. He's going to try and go for a repair. We're just going to wait it out. Get another one into him. Wanted to wait it out to see if we could try and uh, make him waste a repair kit. If he wanted to use a repair kit or not. But it seems like he just wanted to sit around and wait for his repair to go through naturally, which was a good choice in his end. And even with the 0.4 gun dispersion values, 
the accuracy on rotating turret and everything else. It's kind of like, sure, it's high, but you can just wait for that aim time. You can get it in. 2.6 seconds. It's, it's not the end of the world with 2.6, but it's not the greatest. Sadly, we did just ricochet off of the uh, IS. So far at the 728 spot assist and 1500 delp. It's, yeah, this is actually turning out really good. So far. I do believe the Type 59 is still further down to the right side. So let's go say hello. And even on the move, we were able to get two shells in and ricochet his cell shell with our 50 millimeters of side armor. So let's just come to a stop right here, see if we can try and lead him. We do get two chances with the double shot. So we did track him with the first shell and the second shell went through. CS-53 up in front of us, that is a tier 8. E-75, T-34-1, Tiger P, T-32. And with the premium consumable activated, we got our reload down to 13.8 seconds. So comparable to a tier 9 tank destroyer, um, definitely not the same alpha, but still really good alpha on this tank. Being able to get that double shot out, it, it's just so much damage. And if you do it right and you know how to aim, uh, you'll be able to ammo rack tanks and pop their tops consistently if you know the uh, ammo rack locations on specific tanks. Let's actually take some distance here. Let's actually swap over to the uh, premium rounds. A little bit more distance is going to be a good choice here. First shot's going to track. Second shot's going to go through. Let's line up right here. So, both shots, it is heat, so at specific angles and against spaced armor, you're going to struggle a little bit. But once you get those plates flat on, you should be having a good time. So, flat on him at the front there, and he went up above the hill a little bit, which gave his top plate a better angle and a lot harder to go through. And enemies are capturing the base. So let's see if we can get down there. Still got a really good amount of hit points left. So we should be able to play a little bit aggressive over on this right side. And there's the 1390 that ran off just a little while ago. Let's go ahead and swap back over to the standards. So Oni, FE4, 202P, that's two tier, that's a tier 7 and a tier 8. Oni looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. So this match, we did fire off eight premium rounds. And, you know, they weren't exactly penetrating rounds. They they were just there. But LPC overall, it's a really good performing tank. And it's just, in my opinion, really hard to beat it. Compared to a lot of the other tanks that are in the game. Sure, you know, you have the uh, the Rack, the 5-1, the Centurion 5-1, a couple other mediums that can perform the same way. And get just as much damage out. But the LPC with the double shot, it's really hard to beat the interclip reload, and the 280 alpha that the tank does offer. And in my opinion, I would say this, if you're looking to get your first premium tank, LPC does have a higher skill cap inside the game, and it'll take a little bit longer to learn how to use it, but it's not a bad tank. It'll get the job done really well, and it's a tank that I'm pretty sure 
coming a year or two years from now, I will still be using Make Silver and go nuts with. And making a profit of 56,000, so we did three destroyed, 2,000 and well, 2,902 damage, 19 direct hits, uh, 804 assisted, and we blocked 1,110, which was actually the remaining hit points that we had left in our tank. So right there, that by itself is going to be making a massive advantage. Now, jumping over, first class mastery batch, that's not too bad. Um, maintaining the three mark inside this tank as well. And scoreboard. Look at that, VK30, O2D. That's a tier 7, and he had a really good match. I combined with that. Really, really hard to beat this tank, in my opinion. If you're looking to get one, I would recommend the LPC. Other than that, I find this tank to hold up against 10s, it holds up against 9s. It's just, it feels really good. Now, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a like. Helps out a ton. And if you want to support the channel, I did link a um, donation, a, a PayPal, to my account. If you guys are, you know, looking to donate. Keep in mind, all donations to the channel are specifically for the channel only. It's not for personal use. It is for upgrading equipment, getting better editing programs, um, better software, and just improving streams and content. So, yeah. You guys, have a fantastic day, and if you want to, catch me out over on Twitch. Um, a little bit after this video is uploaded, I will be live on Twitch. So, catch you then. Have fun.